My name is Dr Claire King. I'm a scientist in the laboratory of Professor Richard Gilbertson, located in the Cancer Research UK Cambridge Institute. Today I'm going to show you two areas of our lab and methods that are critical to our research. In the Gilbertson lab, we research three types of children's brain tumour, medulloblastoma, choroplexus carcinoma and ependymoma. The aim of our research is to find new, more effective treatments that will improve the outcomes and post-treatment quality of life for children diagnosed with these tumours. To achieve this, we need to understand the biology of the disease, develop accurate ways of modelling the tumour development, and use these models to try on new treatments. Brain tumour research has revealed that each brain tumour type is a distinct disease with different origins, prognoses and challenges. It's also becoming clear that they would also require very different methods of treatment. My research within the lab is focused on a particular subtype of phenopendomoma, known as the Relay fusion positive subtype. These tumours are caused by a very unique genetic mutation, where part of chromosome 11 shatters and rearranges itself, resulting in the fusion of two genes that are normally separated by 73 others. It's not yet clear why this happens or how this leads to the formation of a tumour, but part of our work in the lab aims to understand this. One of the methods that we can use in our research is to grow cells that carry this same genetic fusion. This work takes place in our specialised cell culture suite. We work inside sterile flow hoods to handle and feed our cells. The cells we use either come directly from biopsy samples from consenting patients, or we can artificially introduce the gene mutation by adding a virus that will insert it into the cell genome. Once we've added the virus to the cells, they are kept warm and happy inside incubators to let them grow. After a few days, we can see that the virus has worked using a microscope to detect a green fluorescent tag added to the fusion. These cells can then be used in other experiments, including the testing of new drugs. Currently, one of the challenges with treating a pendomoma is accurately diagnosing which of the subgroups the patient has. For relay fusion positive ependymoma, this can only be done using expensive and lengthy laboratory-based techniques, such as break-apart fish or genome sequencing. Part of our work in the Gilbertson lab has been to develop an antibody that can detect the specific gene fusion in a small section of the tumour using a method called in-situ hybridisation. This method can be carried out in as little as one day and costs only a fraction of the price of current methods. It doesn't require large equipment and can be carried out in a hospital pathology lab. Staining of the tissue demonstrates the location of the tumour. Normal tissue often appears pink, whereas the tumour is a darker purple colour. The in-situ hybridisation method uses a series of antibodies to stain the tissue section and accurately detect the related fusion gene in the tumour. Wherever you see the brown staining on the section is where the antibody has stuck to a fusion-positive ependymoma cell. Using both of these slides, we can confirm that the antibody is only detecting the fusion protein in the cells within the region of the tumour. We aim for this to become a method used in clinics to diagnose children with tumours and guide the medical team in the best treatment method. This has been a very short glimpse into the laboratories involved in brain tumour research and I hope you've enjoyed it. We in the Gilbertson Lab would particularly like to extend our gratitude to the CERN and Robert Connor Dawes Foundations for funding part of our work. And thank you for watching.